Uh, hello everyone and welcome to uh, this video about how to write the name of the uh, Chinese character in the Disney movie Mulan. Um, well, actually, she's a famous character in Chinese history, not only because of the Disney movie, but probably most of y'all will know her from the Disney movie, and this is a request video. So I'm going to try to do my best to explain these characters in a simple way uh, to those who uh, maybe don't know that much about Chinese characters as well. So let me first show you how to write these characters. Um, just a little structural explanation here. The first character is the surname. And uh, so as you know, it is Hua. Hua. And uh, the second two characters are... Uh, the, uh, the the given name of the girl. So this is Mu. Mu. And this is Lan. Lan. The small signs that I'm writing uh, um, over the syllables are the tones. For those of you who don't know, who don't speak Chinese, uh, Chinese has four tones. And uh, so each one of these syllables has to be pronounced in a certain tone. So the first, first syllable is pronounced Hua. The second is Mu. And the third is Lan. And then, so different tones for all the syllables. All right, so let me let me show you how to write these characters one by one, and then uh, then I'll explain to you uh, how they are structurally like what they are made up of and why they are made up the uh, of the elements that they are made up of. So there are certain rules to write Chinese characters. Um, you can't just start writing the strokes as you wish. So you can't start with this one, and then continue with this one, and then with this one. Um, there is a very Pretty complicated system, but not that complicated. Um, and let me so let me just first write the first character, and then uh, then I will go in more detail about it. So this is how we write it: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let me do that one more time: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so you might have noticed several things. Um, first of all, the character is separated into two parts, like this, and then the bottom part of the character is separated into two parts again. So what you have to do is you have to f follow this order. You have to start with this part over here, then you continue with the left part of the bottom part, and then you finish off with the right part of the bottom part. So you have to first start and finish that particular section then move on to the next one start and finish that one and move on and and start and finish the last one so what you do is you first start and finish the top section then you start and finish this left section of the bottom part then you start and finish the right section of the of the bottom part and this character is actually fairly simple because it only has mm, seven strokes and when we get to this character over here it's going to be a little bit more complicated but the, the same logic is applied um, to all characters basically there are exceptions but the same logic can be seen and applied to all characters now there is a there is also a um, sort of regular or prescribed stroke preference or order which means that even in the same section as is this one over here you just can't uh, you know, you just can't start with this stroke and then continue with this one and finish off with this one. There is a, There are certain rules as to which strokes have to go first. And as I said, they're fairly complicated. And if you like, you can... There's a video I did about this, which is called Chinese Character Stroke Order Rules to know which stroke should go first and which one should go next and which one should go last. Um, so just bear that in mind. It's, uh, it's too much to talk about in this simple video. So... Uh, I welcome you to go and check that video out. All right, so let me just write this character one last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And this character, by the way, means flower. Flower. So her surname is, uh, actually, her surname means means flower. And it might be, um, it might sound funny, funny to some, but mm, that that actually her her surname has a meaning. But most of our Western surnames, most of them also have meanings, and they're just uh, because a lot of surnames ha are, have very complicated origins, so it's difficult to tell where they come from. But once you trace that surname into into the language where it comes from, it usually most of the time it, it does have a meaning too. So, all right, uh, the next character is very easy. It means pronounced mu and it means uh, uh well i guess tree or a wood oh tree or wood tree 
for wood. And it is very easy to write um, because it doesn't have any right, left, top, bottom sections. It's just one character. Uh, all you have to know is the uh, uh, sequence of, uh, of strokes um, in which you have to write it, like which stroke goes first and which stroke goes second. So this is how. You, so let me just show you one more time how to write it. One, two, three, four. All right. And the last character, the the last character in her in her name, is um. I th I think if you translate it, it's it's a type of a flower. It sh it should be in either an orchid, or or something like that. So or kid. So flower tree orchid is, is the name of uh, Mulan in uh, Chinese. And it's a pretty complicated character to write, at least complicated when you compare it to the, the two that we had, um, the, the first two characters in her name. So um, you might have noticed that the top section of the character is the same thing as, as the top section of the first character, so there's nothing different there. And then you can t then again the character similarly to the first character is separated into the top and the bottom part. So you first start and finish the top part and the bottom part. Now for those who don't know um, too much about Chinese characters, you probably do not know this, but the character is actually separated into two sections. The the bottom part of the character is separated into two sections. Let me just highlight that for you. So this outside is one character and then the inside is is another character. So if I should, let me just write that and see where I have some space. I have some space over here. So the outside of the bottom part of the character is written like this. And it is, you can write it as a standalone character. It's pronounced mun and it is a door or it means door. And then the inside of the character, you can write like this. And it is also a standalone character, and it means a card, a note, or a letter. Um, so what I'm saying this is that, as I said before, you have to first uh, start and, then, and and finish a particular section in a character before you move on to the next one. So the the, why, the reason why I'm saying this for this particular character is that it is slightly more complicated to identify what is actually a section and, and what is not in this character. So... Um, let's imagine we have this written already. So this is already written. And now when it comes to the bottom part of the character, you write it like this. So notice I didn't I didn't even touch what is inside of the character yet before finishing the, the outside door and then I proceed to what is in the middle. Alright. Pretty complicated, so let me do this one more time without talking too much. So you can concentrate on the writing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So there's twenty strokes in this character. It's pretty complicated, at least compared to the characters that we have. Um that the the rest of the characters that are in her name. And just to make it a little bit more easy, uh, this is the traditional version of the character, but there is also a simplified version of this character, which is really, really easy to write. And it's written like this. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the, sim the simplified version of the character. So its meaning is exactly the same as, as the traditional version of the character. It's just been simplified down to five strokes. Exactly because of the fact that it's, it's a character which is difficult to write because there's, uh, or troublesome to write, I would say, because there are, just, there are just so many strokes in this character. Now, for the structural analysis, um, so that means to, to tell you what are actually the elements in the, in the characters that... Um, you know what they are made up of and why they are made up of these characters and and so on. Um, the first character um, is pronounced Hua and is it means flower and it is a phonosemantic compound. That means that there is something in the character which is going to point to its sound and something in the character that is going to point to its meaning. So the top of the character is pronounced the the thing that I highlighted in yellow is pronounced Cao. 
in the third tone, and it is uh, herbs or grass. It is something that people write in characters that, that means grass or herbs, and it points to the meaning of the character, flower. And the bottom of the character, this part over here, is pronounced hua. Hua. And it means to change. Like when, when I don't know, when, when 10 changes to 5 or green changes to blue and so on. And to change, like the meaning to change has nothing to do with the meaning flower, but it is pronounced hua. It's like the, the if you can write, as, write this blue part as a standalone character and it means to change and it's pronounced hua. So it's pronounced almost like this, the, the way you pronounce it is almost as, almost the same as you pronounce hua flower and that's why um, th this element is in this character. It's giving the sound to the character as a whole. Now the second character is pronounced, let me choose a different color so it doesn't, well maybe it's, it's going to be even more confusing, but um, this character uh, only has a, like it's only made up of uh, four simple strokes and it has only one element, um, comprises of only one element, um, and it, there is nothing in it that is going to tell you how to read it. Like, there is nothing in this character that will tell you the, the sound of this character. You just have to know it. But it originally used to be a picture of a tree. It really used to be a picture of a tree. And, and what you see here now, these four strokes are a very, you know, formatted and simplified version of earlier, earlier characters. You know, you have to, like, realize that Chinese characters have been evolving for a very, very long time. So what you see uh, here now is a super simplified version of of what used to be, like what this character used to look like earlier, but nonetheless, the character used to look, at least in the seal script, which, which is a script that was in use uh, roughly around 200 BC, uh, it was written something like this, um, and then they simplified it down, and standardized it so so it would be easier to write and, and faster to write, uh, and this is how you write it today. So this is tree, and the last character, you have the same top element in it which is this one over here, which is tall, again. It means grass, and it points to the meaning of the character, which is an orchid. And then the bottom of the character, let me just highlight that. Like this. Um, this is, again, it has nothing to do with the, the meaning of uh, orchid. It's just, uh, what it means is actually a, a curtain for a door. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. That's why you have the door element in it. Um, and it is pronounced lan. Um, and so as you can see clearly, lan and lan. So lan, the pronunciation of the blue element, and lan, the pronunciation of the character as a whole, are very similar. So, so that is the reason why uh, this element is in this character. And I heard, and I'm not sure about this, but I heard that actually these two characters together uh, so Mulan, uh, they are in use today, um, and they are a name of a flower. I think it's called a chrysanthemum. I'm not sure how you pronounce that in English, actually. But um, e in either way, this is actually also a name of a flower today. All right. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I hope I gave you a little bit more insight about the name Hua Mulan and uh, how to write these three characters and what they mean and what they are made up of.